And at today's press conference, Minister for Health Paul Valvan said the busy scenes in town this morning needed to be verified since some camera angles could have given the impression Main Street was packed. The minister said today was the first day of the partial relaxation of measures. Mr Valvan used the analogy of turning a tap, saying that today we have increased the flow, but that he's confident this will return to a normal stream in the coming days. We've had a constant flow rate through that tap. We've been going out to exercise our, our, our pets, we've been going to the supermarket, we've been going to work and we've been exercising and that has led to a certain amount of infection within the community. As we now need, we, will de we definitely now need to start thinking of opening that tap further. And as you open that tap further, obviously the initial f flow of water is, you know, the excitement that people have for, for a long time have noticed that shops have opened and obviously people will go out. Um, and we're pretty confident that, that will just ebb, ebb down and the flow will, will, will come back to a more steady flow, which is what we want. The Minister for Health also reminded people that we remain in lockdown and that they should only go out if necessary and for the essentials. In response to questions, Mr Valvan said window shopping was not permitted under the current laws and that shops had reopened in order to allow people to buy what they might require. Um, if people aren't observing the laws and the rules of, um, that we've imposed in terms of social distancing, etc., then we will need to reconsider. For his part, the medical director, Dr Chris Ruel, said today was a very important day for the community, which perhaps brought us an element of normality. But he warned that the virus is still out there. We all continue to fight this virus. Uh, this is just the start of a long road and we're learning about how it will affect us and change our perception of normality for the future. It's something um, that the Minister has already said. No matter how tempting it may be as we look outside at this beautiful sunny day, uh, perhaps to believe that everything's back to normal, perhaps it was all a bad dream. Uh, but in actual fact, we, knew we do need to change our normality completely. Dr. Rual also highlighted that those who'd been infected already needed to heed the advice and continue to follow the rules since they could still pick up the virus and pass it on to others. If you've had this infection, please do not for, uh, think that you are superhuman now, that you're resistant to everything. Please remember uh, that you have to stick to the rules of social distancing, washing your hands, looking after yourself, even if you've had this infection, because we are trying to protect others as well. During the press conference, Mr Valvan highlighted that attendances to A&E had experienced a marked increase in the last 24 hours. 46 people attended, with nine displaying symptoms of COVID-19. One of these has been admitted to the COVID ward. And he also said that another exercise had taken place to test the preparedness of the hospital and the Nightingale facilities. The medical director said that the GHA was looking to resume a number of clinical services, but that if there was a spike of infections, these could once again be put on hold within 24 hours. Dr. Rual again stressed that it is the simple things, such as good hygiene, that will keep the virus at bay.